Hi there and welcome. Today is 20, uh, 28th of July and the time is 2.15 p.m. So it's quite a good day and it's, let's see now, it's quite sunny, it's quite hot outside. It is around 27 degrees. So yeah, uh, you know, I'm sitting right now. I'm planning my route of today, and my first route is a uh, one destination only, which means I have to plan this quite good. And as usual. They have been planning too much for me. <laughs> not surprised, not surprised. Holy crap, 54, they want me to take 34. Jesus. Okay, let's see. 54,000 there. So yeah, this is what I do every day. I'm coming here to truck. Uh, I've done my pre pre trip, uh, you know, check uh, and check the oil, check the lights and st stuff like that. Check the tires, see if there's anything leaking. Normal stuff that you're supposed to do every time you take over a truck now we have a system here and, and I, I know that a couple of truck companies do have it but we have a, a list that we have to sign every day every time we take over a truck that okay I've checked this it's fine and Behind that, we have a piece of paper that's, you know, a list of random stuff that we have found out that this is not working on this truck, or this is leaking, this is wrong, this is broken, whatnot, this needs to be done. Yeah. And you can easily see over there if somebody have found out that for example, a light is broken and it's not fixed yet. Now I need 34,000. 34. If I put my. If I put 13,000 there. That should be quite done. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna keep on doing this. It's just taking a couple of minutes and then I'm done going into the depot and I'm not allowed to film on the depot. Well, from the truck, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But on the depot, no, I'm not allowed to have a camera like this one on me because it's not waterproof, dust proof and whatnot proof. Uh, so yeah, you guys have to wait till I'm on the road. See you in a bit. Hi there. Again. Oh, I'm finally on the road and... Jesus. Every time I'm start, I have been starting recording this now, and it's been like three times. The first time I didn't notice the sound that the camera gives when it starts recording. Uh, second time, I had problems with it, with a, stuff, a couple of other stuff. The phone was ringing, the company phone. And then the third time, my private phone started to ring and I had to answer that as well. And, uh, but anyhow, as you can see, I'm driving 
hands-free, no, while well, I'm filming hands-free, which is the biggest improvement uh, right now, so far. Uh, I got a gorilla stand a couple of days ago, which is, I've been testing it a couple of times now, and it's really good. It's stable. And you can pretty much, for you guys who doesn't know how a gorilla stand works, well, it's pretty much that the legs on the gorilla stand you can bend and you can, yeah, well, you can do pretty much whatever you like with a gorilla stand. I could actually mount my camera on the mirror outside of the truck filming in forward or backwards or whatnot with that gorilla stand. Uh, technically I could do that but I don't want to do it because eh, my camera might fall off. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> so anyhow Hands free filming. Big improvement. Uh, now, for the. Just wanted to announce that. Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry that my first video was 34 minutes long. I, pretty much it was the fi first film clip I made and I didn't think about how long it was going to be and or how long it became with all the clips uh, and whatnot and then I had I saw that I hadn't uh, I had been filming a couple of stuff I didn't want to have in the video or on location that I wasn't, I don't, wasn't sure if I was actually allowed to film without blurring that shit out. So yeah, I I had in the end I had to edit it on a computer and blur some stuff out. Well, it's all good, it's, it worked fine, but still, it, it became 34 minutes long, which I wasn't prepared that it was going to be that long. Uh, second video, yeah, that was like almost 20 minutes long, quite a good amount of length, I think at least. Okay, everything between 15 and 30 minutes, that's pretty much a good amount. 20 minutes is pretty much in the perfect area of what I know. You know, as a viewer myself, I, I would say around 20 minutes, that's pretty much the perfect zone. That's, you don't want to see more, but Kinda expected a vlog to be longer, but I don't want to see more than 20 minutes waste of your life, <laughs> so to say. And then to you guys that have actually already been uh, been subscribing to my channel, big thanks to you guys, even if. If it's not a big amount, I appreciate that you guys already been subscribing to my channel. A couple of you guys at least. Uh, and then we have a couple of viewers on my videos. Now, yes, I do have uh, the ability to earn money on YouTube clips through commercials. And the commercial will run uh, in the 
in the beginning or in the end. It depends on, you know, what YouTube wanna when they wanna put in the commercial. But I have been allowing YouTube to put commercials either in the beginning or in the end of every clip. So apparently I can earn money on that. But I don't give a crap ass because you don't earn money on YouTube. You earn scraps. At least before you have a couple of hundred thousand views on each video clip you have and you have a lot of subscribers and whatnot. But you know, I don't give a crap ass about that. Yeah, back on the road after a two day, two days off. I've been, uh, I've been back home at least during Saturday. Not sun Well, Sunday I was meeting up with my sister that came from really far down in Sweden. Was visiting back home up here in North. So yeah, I've been talking to her and my nephew, and my nephew is still afraid of my bed. <laughs> and he, she did actually say that when we asked her why she's, you know, what, don't want to hug me or give me a good night kiss or anything like that, she's like I'm afraid of the bear. So cute, but still, that's pretty much why I have the bear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I had a good weekend. I've been home for a, at least a day or two. It is a lot of travel time between work and home home. It was a good weekend. Back to my night shift. And now, see you guys later when I have something more to say or once I have been delivering this, everything, whatnot. See you all later. Okay, so after a lot of time I've been standing still here at the gas station my first stop of the day I took too long to on me to actually um, to actually get back on the road But the reason was I thought I was smart and um, was going and getting me a pizza because I didn't have have any food with me. Om 350 meter kör in i rondellen. Yes. Ta sedan tredje avfarten till Modo. Yes, shut up. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, thing is thought I was smart, getting me a pizza to eat for dinner because normally you have to wait like 15 minutes for pizza no, I had to wait 30 minutes for fucking pizza and I thought I was smart, but no, apparently I'm not I'm not that smart I, I most likely need to. Uh, oh, use your fucking. 
indicators. Fuck me. People can't still use their indicators and showing me where are you going. And if they're using them, the, the light doesn't work. Or they have a white lamp, you know, you know, it's not orange, showing me where they're going. That's the law here in Sweden, you have to have orange light for the indicators. Anyhow, I am going to a rest area uh, and I'm gonna eat my pizza and then I'm going back to the depot, fill up and I'm going out to deliver the last two to the two last destinations I have for today. That will fit on one fill up. It's only twelve thousand of uh, gasoline to one of the station and then it's 22,000 to another station and uh, and also 20,000 uh, to uh, that station with diesel fuel oh come on use your indicators and whatnot a little earlier fuck me people can't use their indicators time. Oh, I'm gonna turn right there. Now, if you had been start using your indicators like, say, 200 meters away, I would know that you are supposed to turn up ahead and I can go in the other lane and drive past you over there. No, you have to use your indicator at the same time you're gonna turn and use your brake as well at the same time as you're about to turn yeah once again I'm gonna go to a rest area I'm gonna eat my pizza and I see you after I've been eating my pizza yes today I am not healthy at anyway well, pizza can be healthy, but no, white bread. You know, see ya. Okay, so I'm back on the road after been eating my pizza. It was delicious. A little cold on one side, just, just been sitting in the truck. Since we left Oakland or my last destination. And now it was delicious. Uh, and I'm almost, almost back at the depot. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Everything will be working good, 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 good. Uh, I've been, yeah, the thing is, I didn't stop at it. I, you know, I had a knife in, in my bag, so I cut a slices of the pizza. I stopped real quick, sliced it up, then I didn't eat it in the way. I have a little bit of food in my face, the bear, or in the bunker. <laughs> uh, that's fine, that's fine. That, that's a part of having a bear. No, so I did eat it while I was going. Uh, so I can take my break here at the office, you know, have access to a toilet and whatnot. Because the rest area where I wanted to stop, it was full of trucks standing there and taking their 
their eight hour uh, break, their eight hour rest, you know, they rest for the day. They have been driving enough or been working enough so they have to take take a rest in at least I think it's eight hours or something like that um, really not sure anyhow it was full there so I stopped real quick cut my pizza into slices and did eat it on the way and now I'm almost back at the depot where I am gonna take my rest in 45 minutes you know gonna go in the bathroom and maybe go into the office and look a little bit on the internet watch the web wild wide web uh, you know just gonna relax for at least 45 minutes and I'm gonna get back on the wheel I'm gonna drive into the depot I'm gonna fill up all the tanks except the first one with fuel and I'm gonna go and release it all dump it all at two stations that is going to be all for today. Well, of course, I'm going to... While I'm driving... 700 meters, sväng höger till väg. Sväng sedan höger. Shut up. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. You're going to... Oh, not bitch. Sorry. Sorry for my French. Uh, it's such a bad French I have. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here right now. I'm just outside the office and yeah that's pretty much gonna be it I'm just pulling that down just because I can uh, so yeah I will see you guys when I'm on the road again sometime after I've been filling up the tanks or before I release it all uh, you know between somewhere and, uh, I don't know you'll see me soon just a second something about that it's freaking bumpy road this <laughs> see you in a bit Okay, so I'm on my way to my last destination of tonight, and the time is real much. For some reason, I don't really know why, it might have been the reason when I got the pizza. It's been dragging out on the time for today, but yeah, this wouldn't, hopefully it doesn't gonna take too long. But it is, but it is my last destination of tonight, and as I said, hopefully it's not gonna drag out too much of the time. The clock, the clock, the time right now is 11:21 p.m., and I have uh, 20 kilometers drive uh, that's around 20 minutes 18 minutes drive time till I'm at my destination so yeah let's see how this will go and uh, I think that pizza, it, it tasted good, but I think my stomach said, no, 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 no pizza for you, mate. Whew. Uh, yeah.
but it tasted good at least. I'm not taking a pizza from that place again. Or just maybe take it easy with pizzas, because my stomach didn't like it. Oh, 20 minutes drive time. Then I'm done for tonight. I can drive back the truck to the depot, park it, and go home. Or not home, but you know. Go over to the apartment where I'm sleeping while I'm down here in the south and working as a trucker. Yeah, I see you guys later. Okay, so I just delivered my last cargo of the night. Time is... Uh, it's late, okay? I don't know why it took so long, but I think it was my how I set it up uh, that took time if I had done it uh, another way it would have gone a lot faster but yeah I did it the wrong way end of story uh, anyhow <coughs> We do learn by the mistakes, and hopefully I did learn by this mistake. You know, plan my trips a little better, plan how to put my cargo a little better. Uh, but anyhow, the time is almost, yeah, it's 13 minutes past 1. A.M. So it's 1.13 A.M. Not P.M. Uh, yeah, that's all for this day's vlog or whatever you like to call it. gonna go and refuel this truck uh, then I gonna go and park it over at depot slash our office I gonna go home and sleep and no not once again not home to my place up north because you know, I'm going to be working tomorrow and the day after that and I'm going to be working a lot you now the last couple of well till the end of this month and then I'm going to keep on working a lot next month as well so it's not going to be too much at home up in north once again Thank you. If you have any questions about trucking, about anything, uh, or you just want to say something to me, or that you know you might want me to say in the stream, in the next clip, or when I do read it at least, uh, then. Post me a comment down below if you like what I do. Give me a thumbs up if you don't like it. And give me a thumbs down if you're neutral. Well, I'm pretty much like, no, bad yoke. <laughs> but if you're neutral, you know, eh, don't mind. You know, do whatever. But like it, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. 
I don't know. What more could it be? Nothing. Uh, well, I am out of water as well. See you guys in my next video. Hopefully I will be able to record something tomorrow. Bye!